Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Al, and today we have yet another inventory video. Today is all about my lips, what I have for my lip products. So we will go through my lip liners, my bullet lipsticks, my liquid lipsticks, lip glosses, and my lip balms slash lip oils at the end. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm hopeful to get all of these numbers down. Um, I'm not too mad about the lip liners and lip glosses, but liquid lipsticks and bullet lipsticks and lip balms, lip oils will hopefully go down. So yeah, that's... I think this is part four, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so if you haven't uh, checked out the others, I have a playlist with my inventory for 2022. Um, next part will be eyeshadows, and that one will be long, because I will do my pre-made palettes and my singles. So my cream and liquid shadows went in update or part number three. So, yeah, after that, I will just have part six will be just numbers, so stay tuned for that one. And after my makeup inventory is done, I will do my skincare inventory. So, yeah. This has been a crazy video to film because, well, this, these parts because I do have a cat, and she might show up in some of these. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope I will see you again in the next one. Let's jump right on into the video. Okay, so here we are with the first in my lip category. We have lip liners, and I have 13. So, let's just go through them. I have two from Revolution. Oh, focus. There we go. I bought two sets from Revolution. One in the Rachel set and one in the Phoebe set, which came with two lip glosses and one lip liner in each. So. These are those. Then I do have two from NYX. Uh, you can see which one I'm using the most. And that is Bedrose, this one right here. And then we have... Oh my god, why won't it focus? Come on. There we go. Um, Rosy Sunset. Really nice formula on these. Um, and colors as well. Then I have three from uh, Beauty Bay. We have Toast, which is the top one. We have Heather and we have Whip. These are all neutral ones, really nice formula. Colors are good. As you can see, they are all neutrals in different, uh, from light to darker. So, love these. Then I have two from MAC, and both of them are reds. We have Mrs. Diva, which is a deep dark burgundy red, and Trust in Red, which is more of a true bright blue toned red. So, these are nice for those times I do wear like a dark purple or dark really really dark brown or reds or yeah just darker shades so these are staying then i do have two sing or i have four singles but these are the two first ones i have jeffree star in calabasas and dior in elite pink Ooh. oh no oh well uh Absolutely love this one, um, really stunning shade, 
and the formula is really good. These are my go-to lip liners. First up, we have the Suella and Colourpop Lip Pencil in O Snap. It's a cool toned one, and the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Lip Liner in Borderline. Just a nice, warmer toned light nude. So, yeah. These are really long. Stupidly long. Uh, so, yeah, and this one is in a project pen to finish it up. So, hopefully I will get at least one lip liner out this year as well. But, yeah, there we have it. Next up will be my bullet lipsticks. Okay, so here we are with my bullet lipsticks. If I'm not mistaken, I have 36, which... I'm actually okay with because these four right here are ABH and minis. This is a mini KVD and two mini Huda Beauties. So I have 30 full sized bullet lipsticks and six mini li uh, lipsticks. So yeah, I don't think that's too bad. I do have like this one, which has some very good use. Um, I do have both of these in Project Pants. I have some other full-size one in Project Pants and yeah, some with good use. So I'm hopeful to get this number down to maybe 32 or something if I'm not buying any bullet lipsticks this year. If you hear the brumming or the background noise, it's our tractor. Um, if that's the word in English. We live in a farm, so it's always noisy. And um, yeah, but 36, let's go through them all. So first up, we have my NYX. Let's see if they want to focus. NYX suede matte lipsticks. I have three of them. I have Free Spirit, Sweet Tooth, and Moonwalk. So we have a warm toned, mid toned brown, a hot magenta, and a cool toned, mid toned to darker brown. So yeah, these are really nice and comfy on the lips. And even though they are matte, they're not drying, but it will show everything. So if you do have chapped lips, it will show. Here are some of my singles. So I have the Buxom, what is this one called? Full Force in White Russian. We have the Jeffree Star in Allegedly. We have Urban Decay. Um, Fuel 2.0. This is in the cream formula and it's stunning. And then we have my one Pat McGrath um, Math Trans lipstick in Amour 449. So, yeah, two pink tones, uh, one warmer, one more cool toned, and, and two warmer browns. Then we have my two wet and wild ones. I have one that's in the High Shine Brilliance line and one that's in the Matte line. So we have um, Rosé and Slay and Skinny Dipping. So pink and a nude one. I have three Burt's Bees lip uh, lipsticks. We have 530 Lily Lake, we have 513 Doused Rose and 531 Juniper Water. So we have a range of from light to dark. Uh, these are really comfy on the lips and they do give a really good payoff as well. Then we have my one color pop lipstick in the shade Psych. This is a really nice orange uh, shade. 
and um, yeah these are really nice but take forever to use up my one l'oreal lipstick this is the colorish shine in 642 this is my favorite everyday lipstick and i do think i can finish this one off this year so because i do reach for this one a lot so it's comfy it's nice shade nice formula nice everything i just love this one so and the packaging is really cute my two huda beauty minis these came in a set that i bought they have a red set as well uh, the lightest one is in girl strip and the darker one is in interview my goal will be to finishing up these two this year i have one in a project pen to finish and one to with a usage goal but it would be awesome to finish these ones up because i do love them and they are super comfy and nice on the lips my one kvd studded lipstick in double dare this one is more of a reddish uh shade i'm sorry about the lighting it's just really bad um but yeah again this one is a mini and could be really easy to finish up but it's not a shade i wear a lot so yeah this is i think the only reddish lip bullet lipstick that i have so i'm not in a rush to finish it up but again it would be nice to get my numbers down then we have my four abh minis these all came in one set we have a kiss we uh, which is a light nude again these aren't big so they should be easy to use but just remember to use them we have soft pink which is a soft pink really nice again easy to use we have spice which is more on the mid-toned brownie nude range and then we have dead roses which is the darkest one um, and even this one would be quite easy to finish up actually so i just need to use these um, these are more on the drier side of things so i don't reach into these a lot but the shades are nice i just prefer other formulas than the abh one then we have my two mac lipsticks we have sandy b which is just a nice pink shimmery lipstick and then we have velvet rebellion which is a dark 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 brown lipstick i love this one it's awesome but these will the velvet rebellion one will take me forever to use up then we have my four full-sized huda beauty lipsticks i have one in the matte range and three in the cream so let's start off with the one matte one i have the shade board meeting um and this is a kind of special shade because it's more of the yellow undertoned lipstick, uh, but it's really wearable anyways. I love this one, but it's not fitting for every single look, but yeah, it's stunning. And the formula again is really nice. Then we have my three um, yeah, cream lipsticks. I have sweet cheeks which is a brownie nude of course what else hustla which is more on again it's a light nude as well but they have different undertones and then we have angel which is more of the pinky um shade so again these are really comfy on the lips and 
really really pretty uh, I just hate that they don't fit into the lipstick holder I have on my vanity so yeah and then we have lastly my row of Maybelline lipsticks starting with these two these are the shine line we have 65 spicy mauve which is a this one is more on the reddish side actually um but this feels more of a lip balm kind of thing and then we have 50 baddest beige this one is basically concealer lips um and um yeah i'm not the biggest fan of these two so if i'm doing a declutter these would be easy to actually get rid of i do like the spicy mauve shade but not the formula so much Um, yeah, then we have three in the color sensational line. We have 207 pink fling, which is just a nice pinky shade. We have 725 tantalizing taupe, which is my favorite nude from Maybelline. And then we have 710 Sultry Sand, and again, this one is concealer lips, so this is more of a mixing shade for me whenever I feel like it. But again, this one could be a declutter. Oh, I had one more, just with a purple packaging, and this is 342 Mauve Mania which a really nice mid-tone to dark magenta pink purple shade. So, really pretty. The last three are all from the cream line. So we have 240 Galactic Mauve, which is a purple with shimmer. Absolutely love this one. We have 133 Almond Hustle, uh, again, this is mid-toned brown. And 373 mauve for me, which is more of a reddish mid-tone to dark shade. So, yeah, that's it for my bullet lipsticks. Um, there's still a few formulas that I would like to try. But for now, I'm going to try to finish up the one who the beauty one and um, go from there so if I could get under 30 that would be awesome but I don't think I can finish up six lipsticks in the year so it would be by declutter and um, using up but yeah next up is liquid lipsticks Okay, so here we are with my liquid lipsticks. I have 23, which I don't think is too bad. Out of the 23, uh, I have three minis, and the rest are full-sized liquid lipsticks. My current go-to ones are the Bare Minerals ones. They are amazing on the lips. I love them. And if I could, I would purchase the whole line, but I think they're going out um, so we will see I'm currently working on I would love to finish up these three right here um, so yeah if I could get those three out I would be down to 20 which would be awesome and I do think at the end of the year I will be able to declutter quite a good few of these so let's Jump right on in. So these are the three NYX soft matte lip creams that I still have in my collection. And let's focus. There we go. We have uh, Antwerp, Sao San Paulo, yes, San Paulo, and Stockholm. These are really pretty. 
At one point I had most of them, uh, but a few of them aren't really nice on the lips. Uh, but these are good, so love these. Then I do have one more NYX one, and it's the Powder Puff Lippy in Pop Quiz. Yes, Pop Quiz. Really nice magenta one. This one matched my hair when I redid my pink hair. So every single time I redid my pink hair, I put this one on the next day. And mascara, and that was my look. So yeah, I love this. This one brings so much memories back and so much joy. And um, yeah, I just need to remember to use this one. Then we have six, yes, six Jeffree Star ones. Um, we have the Watermelon Soda, a bright pink, love it. We have Weirdo, the black one. We have Christmas Cookie, a nice light nude. We have Huntington Beach, a bright blue. We have Coral Fixation, which is the bright orange. And then we have Problematic, which is my all-time favorite lip shade. And it's a really, really nice purple. And if somebody knows of a dupe for this shade, please, 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 please let me know. Uh, because I'm not gonna toss this one until I find a dupe. So, yeah. Let a girl know I love this shade. And I would wear it every single day if I could. So, yeah, that's my six Jeffree Star shades. We have one from Chanel. This is my one true red uh, liquid lipstick. This is the Rouge Allure Ink in 146. Um, so, yeah, this one is really nice on the lips. I just don't wear reds, so I have decluttered most of my reds, but kept this one. My one ABH liquid lipstick in the shade Trouble. Just a nice um, mauve purple. I have three KVD liquid lipsticks. I have Lovecraft, Lolita 2, and Lolita. Uh, love these sh shades. Uh, Lovecraft is my favorite, but the other two are really nice as well. Then we have my four Bare Minerals Gen Nude uh, liquid lips. We have Infamous. We have Weekend. We have Smooch and slay. Uh, smooch right here is my least favorite one because it's the lightest one and I do need to mix it with something else. My one color pop um, liquid lip and it's a ultra satin lips lip in two lips. A really dark one. Absolutely love it. Do need to use it more. Then we have my Fuckalore Liquid lips, these are really nice um, in formula. I don't remember which, uh, what they are named, but I have the shade 04 Mauritius and 08 Phuket. So a pinky one and a more reddish one. So yeah, these don't hold too much. And as you can see, I have used them quite a good bit. So I do think these should be easy to finish up. So yeah. And then we have my one L'Oreal liquid lip, and this is the Lip Paint Matte in the shade 211 Baby. And if I squeeze all the air out, I don't have almost anything left, so I just need to finish this one off. So that's my goal, finish up this one and these two, at least. So yeah, that's it for my liquid lipsticks. Next up will be lip glosses and... After the lip glosses, it will be lip balms. So stay tuned. Okay, so here we are with my lip glosses. I have 35. I'm currently working on this one right here. 
from Fenty and these two up there. And I'm using this Maybelline one a lot. So yeah, I did finish up a few lip glosses last year. I'm hoping to finish up some more this year. Um, the biggest ones that I have are the full-sized Fenty ones and these one up here. The others are around the 4, 5, 6 ml size, which are, I don't know, some, I think some are kind of more standard, but the Fenty ones, the full-sized ones are big. So let's go through them all. I have three of the, the Balm Sustainably Gorgeous lip glosses. Um, I have the shade Lip Reader, Fast Talker, and Good Kisser. These are just okay, not my favorite formula or anything, um, but I have them and I'm gonna use them. We have my Buxom uh, full on plumping lip cream in white Russian. I do not like this. I do use this at night. And then we have the gloss from Jeffree Star. And I'm trying to finish this one off as well. So hopefully these two, these two are the first to go. Then I have two single, um, lips and lip glosses. We have one from Makeup Mecca, the Gloss Boss, and as if I want this in a giveaway, really nice shiny lip gloss. And then we have the e.l.f. Um, lip tint in Pink Kiss. Uh, again, I do really like both of these, but again, I don't need both of these in my collection. Um, I do prefer the Fenty one and the Maybelline shimmery ones, so... And this one isn't too big, so these shouldn't be too take too long to finish up as well. Then I have the Phoebe and Revolution Duo. This one came with the lip liner. Really, really nice shades. Just don't like the packaging or the wands in these. Then we have the Rachel Duo. More of a pinky undertone to these ones and then we have the bigger ones um so we have phoebe this one is awesome we have ross we have monica this one is the only shimmery one if you want to see the colors on the lips i do have a reel up on my instagram with these and i love these especially this one it's so pretty And then we have Chandler, Joey, and Rachel. These are more on the neutral side. And Rachel is the only true clear gloss I have. These might seem big, but they only have, let's see, 4.6 mLs. So not too much. There's a lot of packaging going on. Um, so again, these shouldn't be too bad to finish up. Then we have four Bare Minerals Gen Nude lip glosses in a variety of shades. We have uh, Far Out. We have Forbidden. Sugar. And Heartbreaker. So this is the only one that's shimmery. And then we have some light pink, light nude, and a magenta one. I have one Ofra lip gloss in the shade Cherry Mocha. Mocha. Uh, really nice. Love the shade. But again, I don't need these because I do have my lifter glosses. So this one should go this year. I have four mini from Fenty Beauty. We have um, Peach... Out. And this is the Gloss Balm Cream Formula. Then we have three of the Fantasy Gloss Balms. We have Champ Stamp, really nice uh, shimmery light shade. We have Hot 
chocolate fantasy. This one is the darkest one, but again, really wearable. Even for me, which are who are pale. And then we have Fenty Glow Fantasy, which is more of a orangey nude with some sparks in there. So these three are glittery. Uh, you can feel the glitter, but they're not too bad. And this one is, again, the cream formula. Oops. Then we have the other three Fenty Beauty glosses that I have, two of which are cream and one is the normal one. I love this one. It's my favorite out of the seven that I have, and it's the Gloss Balm in Sweet Mouth. Um, this one I do wear on an everyday basis, basically, uh, but usually with nothing underneath it. Then we have the cream ones, and I have... Uh, mauve vibes a cool toned purpley mauve and then candy milk which is more of a it's a mauve toned as well but more of a warmer toned reddish mauve absolutely love these they are stunning then we have my six lifter glasses i have zero one oh uh pearl which is the see-through shimmery white we have zero three moon which is my favorite so far i have used up one already last year we have zero six reef which is a nice pinky milky one we have zero seven amber nice nude one zero eight stone a little bit darker nude and then we have 09 Topaz, which is the shimmery uh, brownie nude, which is my current favorite one. So there we are with my lip glosses. Next up will be my lip balms, and that will be it for my lip collection. Okay, so here we are with my last lip products for my makeup inventory, and it's my lip balms. I have three that are lip balms and I have three lip oils that I do use as a lip balm. So I have six in total. I don't think that's too many, but some of these are big and will take a long time. So I don't need any more lip balms. I do use my lip glosses as, as lip balms as well. So yeah, I don't need to purchase any more for quite some time. But let's jump right on in. So, first up, my true lip balms. I have three. And my camera won't focus. There we go. So we have the Revlon Kiss Balm in the shade Juicy Peach. I have used up all of the others. And there were a total of four, I think, or five. And this is the last one standing. Then we have the Clinique Moisture Surge Lip Hydro Plump Treatment. This is a 7ml lip balm. Uh, I got this one in the Clinique Advent Calendar I had in 2020. And then we have the Kiehl's Lip Balm Hashtag 1. This is a really big one. It's a 15ml tube and I got this one in my um, Advent Calendar for 2021. So far, I have only used it once, and it's okay. I'm not the biggest fan of the tubes that I do need to apply with my fingers, so I just want this one out of my stash. Then we have my three lip oils. Um, the um, Make the Make... Uh, what is this one called? Hyaluronic Lip Oil. I won in a giveaway. I really do love the scent of this one and it's really nourishing and more on the thicker side, which is awesome. And then I do have these two NYX hashtag this is everything lip oils. I have the shade Sheer and Sheer Berry. Uh, really nice. I do keep the Sheer Berry one in my bathroom. So I do use that one in the morning or night as well with the Buxom lip gloss one. So 
yeah these are my six lip balms lip oils um so yeah that's it for my lip product inventory i hope you enjoyed and if you have some lipsticks lip glosses i should try leave a comment down below i'm dying to pro i'm dying to try some new lip products out but i also do need to use some up so leave a comment um and yeah i hope you enjoyed and i hope i will see you again in my next video bye